Greatest Adventures of Tintin. Red Rackham's Treasure. The Eagle's Cross. When the killer shark attacked Captain Haddock, Haddock struck the monster with a bottle of rum. But the shark swallowed the rum and became quite pixelated. Haddock found a small chest and it contained only some maps. Then, just when all hope was lost, Tintin noticed something on the treasure island. He spotted a strange cross. And they set out at once to search the island. But there's a welcoming committee waiting for them. Are you sure this is the right way, Tintin? That cross should be on top of the next hill. If Professor Calculus's pendulum is correct, we'll dig up Red Rackham's treasure at dawn. If we don't run into any of those native swabs. Don't worry, Captain. We're protecting the rear. Those natives wouldn't be awake this time of day. That salty parrot talk makes me feel right at home. <laughs> hey, where's Snowy? Here's Snowy! Here's Snowy! Run! Get away from that snake in the grass. He won't fool around with Snowy again. Good work, Tintin. We better keep moving if we want to find the treasure. Well, this is the spot. There's the Eagle's Cross, like the map said. Looks like we're at the end of the trail. Huh? According to my pendulum, this cross should have been west of here. Perhaps Sir Francis Haddock's pendulum was out of order when he put the cross there. <laughs> well, dig in then. The treasure's waiting. I just don't dig shoveling. Not on Sunday. Ah, uh, what do you mean, Sunday? Today's Friday. Not according to this calendar, Captain. Look, it is a calendar. Sir Francis Haddock probably made it. See, the calendar says it's Sunday. So, no work today, right? Ah, you brainless bashy bazooks. That calendar is 300 years old. Okay, so we dig. Right, huh? We dig treasure the most. Uh -huh. This looks like the right spot. Wait a minute. There's no treasure here. How come, Tintin? Why would Sir Francis Haddock leave the treasure here after he was rescued? Maybe you're right, Tintin. But what about the Eagle's Cross? According to my scientific pendulum, the treasure is over here. <coughs> Natives, to the ship, quick! Thunder and typhoons. Look! Not over there. Over here. No, no, over here. Natives, we're trapped. Looks like we're on the spot. I'll show those swabs they can't surround Captain Haddock. No, Captain, no. Those bashy bazooks mean business. We gotta be calm. This is no time to play hero. I don't suppose those headhunters would want two heads exactly like, unless they need a pair of bookends. We'd better think of something, but quick. Well, at least we won't have any more headaches. <laughs> oh. Such a lot of troubles, just to find a treasure. Why do we always have to do all the work? Just lucky, I guess. Look, there's a village ahead. What's that? Oh, look! It's a, a volcano! It's erupting! What a break! A break? It's 
out of the frying pan and into the fire for us. Whoop! Thunder and typhoon. Uh, I mean, thunder and volcanoes. At least we got rid of the natives. Yeah, today's our lucky day. We gotta get out of here before that hot lava reaches us. All right, Butterfingers, get those ropes untied. Blimey, look! The island's coming apart. Great cotton yard. Help! Aid! Assistance! Give me your hand. Glad to, dear brother. You saved my life. What can I do to pay you back? Well, you might pay me back the five dollars you borrowed when we were in high school. Hurry, Snowy. This whole island is falling apart. Blimey, this looks like a Boy Scout knot. Scout Schmout! Get it loose! I'm getting off of this island. Well, there's still an island to get off of. I can't untie this knot. Look out, Snowy! Snowy, run! Head to the beach, mate! Wouldn't you know this would happen to us? Hold it! I can't go off and leave me ancestors either. Or Francis Haddock would turn over in his grave. Captain, come back! Not without me, wooden-headed friend, I won't. Captain, look out! Run! Blistering barnacles. What the... The mountain. It, it's cracking up. Run, Captain! Vanishing Island. The next exciting episode of Hergé's Adventures of Tintin.